thank you for coming today. My name is Marina, and this is my co-presenter, Aiko. We are so happy to be here to tell you about Japanese culture. After our presentation, we hope you will understand why and how Japanese culture has a special atmosphere. Our topic is wabi-sabi. I will talk about the meaning and history of wabi-sabi. Also, my partner, Marina, will talk about examples of wabi-sabi. Have you ever heard of wabi-sabi? Wabi-sabi is a Japanese aesthetic sense. It's a kind of feeling, an awareness, and appreciation of different aspects of traditional Japanese culture. However, if you try to see wabi-sabi, you can't see it. Also, you can't touch it, you can't smell it, because wabi-sabi is your reaction or feeling to traditional Japanese culture. But you can see, touch, or smell things related to wabi-sabi by another way. It can be felt in traditional arts, craft, painting, building, or religions. Wabi-sabi appears everywhere in traditional Japanese culture. Also, wabi-sabi is recognized as an underlying symbol of Japanese culture. I will talk about the deep meaning and, uh, and the fascinating history of wabi-sabi. These are my subtopics. First, I will talk about the meaning, and then I will talk about the history. Wabi-sabi involves various feelings. I'll introduce clear definitions and feelings. First is the image of feeling of a sense, sense of calmness and simplicity. For example, wind chime or fooling in Japanese. In America, some people have a wind chime outside their home. Also, in Japan, have a hooling. Hooling is a kind of wind chime. These are very similar. However, Americans' wind chime brings mild sound and sometimes make music. But hooling brings only one sound. This simple sound makes us calm and quiet because Japanese people use hurin during the summer. The sound of hurin is like a cricket. A cricket is a fall bug. The sound of hurin reminds us coolness of fall during a hot summer day. When Japanese people feel wabi-sabi, they have feelings such as calmness, and enjoy the simple sound. The second definition, wabi-sabi, is a feeling of satisfaction, what I have now. Look at this picture. This is suibokuga. Suibokuga is a picture drawn only black ink. Perhaps you want to be a colorful picture. However, through the sense of wabi-sabi, suibokuga makes us imaging colorful picture the limited situation of only black ink and a piece of paper still shows many kinds of scenery. Japanese people are satisfied with such a situation. They are satisfied with what they have now. This concept is true to anything. These are kind of satisfaction, contentment, and a peaceful feeling of life. The last definition, wabi-sabi, is a feeling or a sense of silence and a pang of nostalgia. For example, when people look at nature, Japanese people feel the attraction of the season. They see the course of history in nature. Spring and summer have a natural color in flowers or green trees. However, Fall 
and winter don't have such vivid colors. They are autumn tints and cover snow trees that look dead. So we so when Japanese people look at fall or winter, we are homesick for spring or, or summer. Uh, we also enjoy the nostalgia of the past and the feeling each season. They are not forever. We found beauty in changing and missing of each season. In addition, Japanese people don't say this is wabi sabi because Japanese people have a, Japanese people already have wabi sabi subconsciously. Even if Japanese people feel wabi sabi, they feel or react silently to it. Even silence and quietness become wabi sabi. Let's move on to history of wabi sabi. Why did Japanese people found the beauty in imperfection and simplicity? It was related to Japanese historical background. Wabi sabi developed as a Japanese aesthetic sense around the 14th century. The 14th century is called the Muromachi period. But before the Muromachi period, the government was stable. So the government used their money to create architecture or art. These statues were created by highly skilled artisans. Also, these statues were showy and stood for their wealth. However, this is Ginkakuji, a famous temple in Kyoto. It typified, in, typified the Muromachi period. Also, it is not showy, is it? So why did people in the Muromachi period uh, build, su build such buildings as these? Because the Muromachi government was not stable. So they, the government uh, was decentralized and didn't have actual effective control. Therefore, they didn't enough money or power to create uh, create showy building, craft, or art. They uh, the people at that time found beauty in what they had or what there was. In conclusion, when Japanese people feel wabi-sabi, uh, they have various feelings. Also, they found beauty. It's not gorgeous and showy but simple and quiet because Japanese people who recognize the wabi-sabi as a Japanese aesthetic sense lived in hard time. They accepted negative situation and found beauty in negative situation. This means they found beauty in imperfection and unsatisfactory circumstances. Thank you for listening. Next, my partner, Marina, will talk about examples of wabi-sabi. Thank you, Aiko. That was very intriguing. Now, I'll tell you about three special examples of wabi-sabi. Japanese garden, tea ceremony, and Japanese flower arrangement. First, one example of how wabi-sabi is expressed is in a traditional Japanese garden. By the way, do you know Spokane has a traditional Japanese garden in Manito Park? Yes. There, you can see things I'll explain from now. In a Japanese garden, there is usually a small, gentle waterfall. We Japanese can enjoy not only how it looks, but also how it sounds. The sounds of waterfall in a Japanese garden is not loud, but quiet. Japanese are sensitive to sounds, and we Japanese define both looks and sounds as significant aesthetic. Next, white sand 
it's used in a traditional Japanese garden because it is a humble and elaborate natural material. There, there, are, there are various types of Japanese gardens, and the most famous one is called Kare Sansui. It expresses the delicate flow of river with dry and white sand. It's kind of abstract and magnificent art which has deep meaning to us Japanese. Also, the beautiful change of the seasons in a Japanese garden gives us a feeling of silence and transience. And we value the impermanent life of plants as a reflection of wabi-sabi. Next, tea ceremony called sado is known to be the most famous example of wabi-sabi today. Tea ceremony was developed by an amazing founder named Sen Norikyu. The reason why he is well known is he set an essence of general idea, wabicha. It means to taste a unique cup of tea in the silent tea room and remove unnecessary ornaments of the room. This is traditional tea ceremony room. Do you think it's very simple? Would you ever have a party in such a simple room? <laughs> but he considered simplicity as the refinement of beauty. And this word, wabicha, made tea ceremony not just humble, but refined. Also, we drink green tea from a special tea cup. Sen designed tea cups that was appropriate for wabi-sabi. This picture is one example of his cups, and it's his most favorite one, and it is painted in a black glaze. It, it, this is Sen aesthetic sense in the value of simplicity. And today, this idea is conveyed as wabi-sabi. Third, another reflection of wabi-sabi is in a Japanese flower arrangement, which we call ikebana. Japanese flower arrangement has a particular idea of design. Unlike Western flower arrangement, Japanese flower arrangement has front side and back side. <laughs> yeah, you can't see any flowers. So it's very simple. It's, so it's, may, it may not be perfect as art, but um, it's more natural and expresses nature exactly. So it is perfect as wabi-sabi. Next, Japanese flower arrangement needs some simple and important tools. In a Japanese flower arrangement, flowers are arranged in a kaki, a special vase for Japanese flower arrangement. But kaki are too shallow for flowers to stand by themselves, so they are, uh, they are poked into a kenzan a needle point holder. Also, kaki are white like dishes and a plain color. So they are arranged bamboos, stones, um, branches, and leaves in the arrangement. By using not only flowers, but also natural materials, Japanese flower arrangement describes the magnificence of nature in a small vase with few and simple natural materials. Last, 
Japanese flower arrangement teaches us the preciousness of flowers' lives by catching the death of flowers as beautiful. In a Japanese flower arrangement, even if flowers are not so fresh, they are important as art. Also, each flower will die someday like we humans will. Japanese people feel such empty feelings are splendid, and this is exactly wabi-sabi. Thus, wabi-sabi is especially seen in the three examples that was mentioned earlier, Japanese garden, tea ceremony, and Japanese flower arrangement. In conclusion, if there are no wabi-sabi in a Japanese culture, these examples would not be what they are today. Wabi-sabi made Japanese culture having such a special atmosphere compared with other cultures. Also, most Japanese don't know they have a spirit of wabi-sabi because people can never see it nor touch it. It's an unspoken fee feeling and reaction to the Japanese culture and nature. However, we Japanese feel beauty when we see things related to wabi-sabi. Even if people get convenient lives or become interested in other ways of thinking, new customs appear, but this concept of wabi-sabi will be conveyed forever. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? The question is, uh, is it similar to West, Western, Western sense, Western sense and Jap uh, Wabi Sabi? Uh, you said, you said an old building or castle like that. Mm, yeah, I go and I introduced about old things, but um, wabi-sabi doesn't mean um, old things are beautiful. So, so, for example, when you see old buildings, do you feel that that, was, that, that is beautiful? If so. Japanese people feel beautiful when we see things related to wabi-sabi. So I, we don't think yeah. it's, it's the same, same. of wabi-sabi. Yes. I'm not sure if you said, but what does wabi-sabi uh, mean? Maybe you said that before. Did you say what, the, what those words mean? The meaning of wabi Uh, the, uh, the, the question is, what does it mean, wabi and sabi, means? Uh, the answer is, um, wabi is austere uh, beauty, beauty austere beauty, and sabi is uh, simplicity beauty. Does anyone have any more questions?
Yes. Um, you mentioned that many people in Japan do not do not know they have the wabi sabi inside. Did you feel it, or did you feel it after you made this presentation? The question is: Do we feel wabi sabi? Before or after? Before or you after? Made, you made this presentation. Uh, I, 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 I knew the words, the word of wabi sabi before I researched the presentation, but um, we, I didn't know that meaning. So after, so I think, I feel, I noticed I have wabi sabi after researching. Does anyone have any more question? Yes. Ah, yes. Do you think you can teach somebody to know Wabi Sabi? The lady wants to know uh, if we <laughs> if we if we teach Wabi Sabi to American people? Other people, uh, I think uh, we can teach uh, feel, uh, teach the uh, uh, definition of wabi sabi, but our, uh, other Jap not not Japanese people uh, feel similar sense, but exactly uh, it's not exactly wabi sabi. Does anyone have any more question? Thank you. Thank you very much. I